Aaron Montgomery here with Coastal Business Supplies and just wanted to quickly show you some of the color replacement options in the Garment Creator software by Epson. So uh, let's start by going and importing a file here that we want to use. Import image or you can use Control I. I'm just going to use this one to start with here. Alright, so we've got our image here and I'm just going to place it where I want to and maybe we'll make it a little bit bigger here so we got a nice big print on our shirt um, but you know as is here you can see we probably don't want to print that white box and we're going on to a black shirt here as you can see and we probably don't want to print that black area so first thing I'm going to do is I am going to use the transparent button here in the color replace and then I'm going to go over and click on my white area and once I've done that you can see it gets rid of all the white now let's say I want to make sure I get nice and tight into that black area I can go down here select that uh, color replacement and then go use my toolbar here to increase or decrease so let's say we want to increase that there we got most most of that white out of there in fact probably all of it Okay, so now the next thing is uh, I've got some black in this image and I probably don't want to be printing black onto black, just wasting ink and doesn't make it look very good in my opinion. So again, go back to transparent, make sure we're there. Uh, that gives us a new one and you can see that by the plus sign around the cursor. And again, I'm going to go select in the black area. But before I do that, if I just selected the black area as is, it's only going to take that black right there. I do want to uncheck the only neighboring areas box here, so it'll grab all the black in the file. And there we go. Okay, I've got rid of it again. can go in and select that black that we just replaced and go more or less and uh, make it as, as sharp and neat as we need to. All right, so from there, I want to say either we're ready to print or the other thing that could happen is maybe the customer says, hey, I want that VFW area to be white. So now I'm gonna go back to my color replace and I'm gonna go color replace and I'm gonna pick white and I'm going to go only neighboring areas because I only want to pick what's in here. And I'm going to select that. And now I've made that white. And I can and I can also then go and do the same thing where I add more color, make sure I get it all the way to the edge, all those types of things. But once I've done that, I would just do the same thing with the other items that I want to select. So I do that again. Let that fill, go back here to white again, click that one more time, and just keep filling until I get all the areas that I want to have filled to be white. All right, now let's say the customer also says, hey, that red lightning bolt, I actually am a big fan of the color blue, so I want to have that blue. And you don't want to go back to your graphics program and do all that. You just got this piece. Um, again, we can fix that here. Now we go over and we use the spot color function. And we're going to take off the neighboring area because we want to do want to change all of the red in this. So again, we're going to select the red. Now we've got that right here. We've got the red and the after color replacement. I can go right here into this, get to my color palette and pull up this color palette and I can choose from a myriad of different colors here can enter RGB values hex values uh, other things like that but let's just say we want to do red or blue I'm sorry and there we go all right and we've got that uh, looks like it's grabbing a little bit of the red outline there so again just go back into here and I'm going to adjust my bar down to where it's just grabbing those real solid areas for me. Um, just keep moving that bar until I feel really comfortable with what I've got going on there. And there we have it. And now we can push print. 